Hi folks, I'm on Android.com where we get hot on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and take the Galaxy Note 3 to the limit. I know a lot of you Note 3 users, you wanna make your Note 3 uh, just as fast as the new Note 4. Now I can show you how by installing a custom kernel like Lean Kernel, you can make your Note 3 run just as fast as the Note 4. So let's go ahead and do this baby. Alright guys, uh, what I've got here uh, is two different setups. This is the International uh, SMN9005 and this is the T-Mobile uh, SMN900T. And both are actually running Lollipop, uh, both have Lollipop available. This is running the latest uh, Lollipop TouchWiz firmware, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And the other one is actually, I've loaded on CM12, the latest nightly. Uh, as you can see, it's Android 5.0, and CM12 is running Android uh, 5.0.2. The only difference these have uh, over the regular ROM is that I've installed a custom kernel, Lean Kernel, which allows you to overclock to 2.7 gigahertz, which I'll show you here. If you want to overclock, go ahead and install the custom kernel. I recommend uh, Lean Kernel. And if you go into general, uh, you'll be able to overclock it here. And you can see I've got it overclocked to 2.72 gigahertz. All right. Um, the minimum is different, but it doesn't really matter. I can set this a little bit higher. Uh, and make sure you hit this button up here after you set it. All right. And also, if you want to set it on boot, make sure you set uh, kernel settings. That way, after it boots, it will automatically set it back to the, your overclockable speeds. Now here's one thing I did different. Um, if you just overclock it, the thing is that uh, when you run the benchmark, it won't, it, won't, it won't do as well. Just because the phone gets super hot. One little trick you can do is go into uh, specific here. And if you go down to the voltage, I'll tone down the voltage from 1170, what's defaults at, to 1145. Just hit, so it should be like that. Just hit that button right there, set, and hit that button. What that will do is allow you to get that full 2.726 gigahertz and allow it to not overheat and also get you the best performance. I did a bunch of tests and that was the perfect voltage setting. So it's sort of under volting. And that will also save you some battery life. Um, so let's go ahead and do a test with that. And I've also got Lollipop running uh, 5.0.1 on my Note 4. And we're going to go ahead, head to head, uh, Note 3 versus Note 4. All right, here is the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and run and 2.2 for all of them and see how they end up here. Well, those are the scores, but let me run it again and see how they, well they do. Yeah. All right, there we go. Um, so I'll fast forward this. Now, one thing to note that the Note 4 does have disadvantage uh, because it does have a 1440p screen instead of a 1080p screen. So the benchmarks will be a little bit off. Not off, it's gonna be a little bit slower then obviously there's more pixels to the pics. But even then, I mean, you can get the Note 3 performance uh, almost near of a Note 4. And, uh, you know, they're all running Lollipop, so it's a fair contest. Uh, and also, you know, the scores you'll get, the performance you get with the Note 3, uh, will be actually pretty much on par with KitKat running on Note 4, which is really nice. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and fast forward this. All right, guys, the results are in 47,753. I was able to get almost like 48,000 sometimes, almost so 49,000. Uh, Note 4 still beat out at 51,000. That's actually one of my best results so far. Uh, but as you can see, you can get these nice, really nice scores, but the actual tests, you can see they all finish about the same time. I started this one first. Now I'm not sure which one I've actually started, but the Note th Note 3 is actually finished first. Um, so as far as the speed of your Note 4 overclock to 2.726 gigahertz, uh, it's gonna be on par with the Note 4. Oh, well, almost. And of course, if you do have a Note 3, I do highly recommend see if you can get higher score than these. But 48,000 was pretty much the maximum limit I could do with the best lollipop, uh, with the best kernel, lean kernel. And also you can see the scores are nearly identical for CM12 or the TouchWiz. So I feel like it does really not matter whether you run TouchWiz or CM12. With overclocking, you can get some really nice performance boost.
Now these scores are actually just on par with KitKat running on Note 4. So there you have it. You can run your Note 3 just as fast as the Note 4. And with this much overclocking, your battery will not be as good uh, but uh, it will still be better than the Note 4 because you don't have that 1440p, all those pixels to pix. Alright, before I forget, let me give you a quick uh, installation guide um, just for those of you who want to try it. Whether you're running TouchWiz, make sure you're running TouchWiz, obviously. And let me go ahead and boot into uh, recovery. Alright, once you install the custom kernel, sometimes it might not boot because you... You didn't check the Android version number or whatnot. Sometimes kernels are not compatible with all ROMs. But this lean kernel will run on any uh, Lollipop ROM, a TouchWiz Lollipop ROM, or grab the AOSP version for CM12 or any AOSP. Now, there is a way to back up your stock kernel or whatever kernel you're running in uh, right now. So go to backup, right? And what you can do is just back up boot, all right? This is your kernel. So go ahead and back it up before you install it, okay? So that way, uh, in the next going install it, uh, you will install the LKHLT or the LKHLT, uh, HLT CM uh, for the AOSP version. Go ahead and install it, reboot. For some reason, it, it doesn't boot. Then you can go ahead and boot into uh, Torp Recovery. Uh, you don't have to restore your whole ROM. Just go to restore, and then go ahead and restore your boot, uh, which is pretty much kernel. Uh, for the Samsung phones. And then you'll be back on whatever ROM plus kernel you're on. So I just want to give you that tip, that way you can save the trouble of backing up your whole ROM and restoring your whole ROM when you can just back up your kernel before installing this custom kernel. So I hope that helps you. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, you can easily make your Note 3 perform just as good as the Note 4. And since this has a resolution of 1080p, you may still be able to get longer battery life than the Note 4, even with it overclocked. So definitely try it uh, if you have a lollipop with a supported device and uh, enjoy your new faster phone. And thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and as always, stay on Android.